whenever you hide away from the truth beloved you hide away from freedom it's the truth that you accept that will set you free somebody's life withstood every challenge of the enemy because it was founded on the rock and that rock speaks of depth in god if they mention your name in the coven what happens most people that you see that tragedy befell them is as a result of what the enemy has done on their name everybody needs to maintain what i call a still and a what and a quiet mind whereby the only person that can move within your mind the only person that can speak within your mind is the voice of God. So, I would like you to give a warm youth church welcome as we, introduce, as we welcome and receive the ministry of the regional overseer of MFM Lekki Youth Church, Pastor Toby. Kukwala. Can you please celebrate God? Can you celebrate the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords? The I am that I am the lifter up of earth, the only wise God. Is that how you celebrate God? Celebrate God. Celebrate God. Celebrate God. Amen. Can you help me celebrate your wonderful pastor? We shall, we shall come to that later. Can we just raise up our hands and begin to appreciate the King of Kings? The Lord of Lords, the I am that I am the lifter up of head. Father, we thank you because you are the one behind the scene. If it's not you, oh God, we are nothing but zero. Lord, we appreciate you. We magnify you. To you be all the glory. To you be all the honor. To you be all the adoration. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Immediately I landed in this state yesterday. The Lord began to drop a song in my mouth. And if you are a man of the spirit, you know that when you have not sang a song and the Lord decides to give you a song, immediately you come down for the aircraft. I know it's for me and it's for the people that the Lord has sent me to. I've not sang the song. The last time I sang the song was when somebody just came to drag me and paid uh, a seat of one million naira for me to go and listen to the person that sang the song. I said, I don't want to go. He said, sir, you must. It's, and it's an elderly man, so I had to go. That was the last time I heard that song. And why would the Lord go and pick a song I heard in December and sing it to me? It's because there's somebody here. You are about to move in what I call overflowing grace. I don't know who you are, but I want your faith to be very sharp today. The Lord said he's going to raise greatness in this house today. There's someone in this meeting, you are an artisan, but does say the almighty God. As a result of what will happen in your life today, you will have what I call estates. How many of you know that nations will come to your rising? How many of you believe that? That nations will come to your rising? I want you to, if you don't know the song, just follow the words. We will sing that song before we go on because I have to declare that word over you. Over to you, sir. There's an overflow Abundance of favor is a, is a new level. There's an overflow. Abundance of favor. I'm taking over. I'm taking over. There's an overflow. There's an overflow. 
Abundance of favor. Abundance of favor. It's a new level. It's a new level. It's a new level. It's a new level. There's an overflow. There's an overflow. Abundance of favor. Abundance of favor. It's a new level. It's a new level. It's a new level. It's a new level. There's an overflow. There's an overflow. Abundance of favor. It's a new level. It's a new level. It's a new level. There's a new level. Abundance of blessings. It's a new level. It's a new level. It's a new level. It's a new level. One more time. There's an overflow. An overflow. Abundance of favor. It's a new level. It's a new level. It's a new level. It's a new level. Walking in abundance. Moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost. I am favored. How many of you believe that word? Working in abundance, moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost. I am favored. I'm working in abundance. sent his word I declare you are moving in the realm of overflow I declare upon everyone that is in this meeting right now by the power of the Holy Ghost over this house I declare you are walking in abundance. How many of you know what they call the speed of the Holy Ghost? I decree over your life. Let the speed of the Holy Ghost be activated in your life in the name of Jesus. Be activated in your life in the name of Jesus. Be activated in your life in the name of Jesus. Walking in the border, walking in the border, walking with the speed, walking in the speed, I am power. Hey, walking, walking, walking in the border, walking in the border, walking with the speed, walking in the speed, I am power. Hey, walking, walking. Walking with the speed, 
to the verse 2 of that song. I've told you, I've not started. There's a prophetic grace already moving in this place. And let me tell you what the verse 2 says. He says, I see the nations come to me. I didn't even see this before. He says, they receive answers from my lips. He says, I am shining as a house on a hill. Hey, he says, my greatness cannot be hidden. I prophesy upon everyone here. You will live your international glory. That is it. Aha. Uh -huh. Prophesy over your life. In this nation, around the world, don't joke with this prayer. I prophesy. Your voice will be heard. Hey. How many of you know what I'm talking about? I declare in this nation around the world your voice shall be heard. Are you ready to pray that prayer? I say it again. Your voice shall be heard. Can somebody help me with the book of Ezekiel chapter 19 verse 9? When I'm praying that prayer, I want you to know, Ezekiel chapter 19 verse 9. Do you have your Bible there? The Bible says, with hooks they caged him. And they brought him where? To Babylon. They put him in what? In where? In captivity. You know why? So that is what? His voice will not be heard. Where? on the mountains of Israel. I prophesy over your life. Whatever has been holding down voice in your lineage, whatever I have said that your own voice will not be heard. You know what it means when your voice is heard. The Lord makes you an authority wherever you are. I prophesy over your destiny. In this prophetic meeting today, your voice will be heard on the mountains of Nigeria. Prophesy upon everyone here in the mountains of nations. I have seen God raise men and make them voices. I have seen people from nothing and they become something. Some few days ago, I was watching this Nigerian young man that used to play in Leicester. Pastor Chinedu will know him, he's a footballer. You know him very well. He used to play in MFM. I remember the day I was giving him 500 naira at National Stadium. And by the time I was looking at him, he was worshipping. He was worshipping God. And the wristwatch in his hand alone, that wristwatch is close to 100,000 pounds. But that was someone that we were giving money. I prophesy. It does not matter where you are from. What matters is where your God can take you to. I decree over your life. I say it again. Through you, the family history will change. I say it again. Your family history will change. 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 There's another flow, abundance of favor. It's a new level. It's a new level. There's another flow. There's another flow, abundance of favor. Abundance of favor. It's a new level.
if I were you, this song will be on my repeat. Mark my words by the power of the Holy Ghost. Favor that you have never experienced before. Favor that is older than your experience. Favor that is more than your age. It shall come to you this week in the name of Jesus. It shall come to you this week in the name of Jesus. More than my mouth can testify. More than my mind can comprehend. That will be your testimony. See how I see the wonders, wonders of your grace. I'm so sure that this is not the end. Somebody said, More than, more, more than, hey, my mouth can testify. More than, more than, my mouth can come. Oh, I see the wonders of your grace. I'm so sure that, that this is not the end. Can somebody help me sing love?
sing holy you are God. Holy you are God. Oh, yes you are. Yes you are. In all the earth. Yes you are. Yes you are. to polish glory. How many glory are here that are due for polishing? Can you just raise your two hands while he's doing that? Let the power of the Holy Ghost identify with your glory right now. And let the power of God begin to make sure that your glory begins to work in full capacity. That is it all over this place. Aha. That is it. Release yourself to the power of the Holy Ghost. Release yourself. Release yourself. Every glory that you have not allowed female children to use in your father's house. Every glory that you have not allowed male children to use right there where you are. Let the power of God identify with your glory now. Jesus. That is it. Look at this international glory. Look at this international glory. Let that glory shine, 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 shine. Every glory that has not been allowed to go. Aha, aha, aha. Look at that blessing there. There is a young lady here. You carry greatness. There is a generation rising up within you. The hand of the Lord is upon you. Enough of this mediocrity. Now, power of God, move. That is it. That is it. That is it. Aha. Oh, 
to me. I have been in meetings when the Lord said it to me. Ah. I can tell you that one. I can tell you that one. We were on Hallelujah Life one day and the Lord said it and that same grace began to manifest in people's home. I can't forget that night. Hallelujah Challenge. I stand here to tell somebody here. How many of you want the speed of the Holy Ghost in your legs? I decree wherever you are standing over there right now it will come upon you. I'm telling you, you are going to advance with the speed of the Holy Ghost. I can hear that word speed. I declare. If you can believe now, I have seen God shorten a journey of 10 years and make it two. Wherever that person is, under the sound of my voice, the moment I say open your mouth, just say speed of the Holy Ghost, it's going to come upon you. You are here to take the lead. How can somebody who is crawling take the lead? How can somebody that has been held down take the lead? How can somebody that is sleeping take the lead? I declare over your life, the speed that will carry you from the back, there's someone here, you have been termed the failure of your family. Everybody's looking down on you. Your result is nothing to show forth. But I stand here because you gave your life to Christ. Because you are in this meeting. The speed of the Holy Ghost is coming upon you. It's coming upon you. It's coming upon you. Are you ready? As I declare it. I want you to say it seven times. Speed of the Holy Ghost on my life. I 
now you know what I'm talking about. It's called the taking over grace. I decree you shall encounter it today. Yeah. Father, I thank you because you answer me. You have brought us here, Father, because you know that it is time for your children to manifest. I pray, let the speed that will carry them from where they are to where they are meant to be. Let the speed that will shorten the journey of trials and afflictions. Let the speed that will make these ones to sit in position that will be like, see, if, is, is this me that is sitting down here? I declare, as they declare that word seven other times there, on their spirit, on their soul, on their body, let there be Holy Ghost speed. Can you shout it seven out of Aha! Say it be silence now let there be silence now you have asked for that speed all over this place let the power of God that can speed up a man yes identify with that brother identify with that sister yes yes it's called the speed of the Holy Ghost heaven is about to meet earth now look at that brother over there enough is enough this family idol cannot hold you down this family idol cannot hold you down. This idol cannot hold you down. The power of God, move over that brother. That is it. Aha. Uh -huh. I declare over this young lady. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. I see you. Aha. Uh -huh. Rewriting the story of your generation. Not just your family. Right there where you are. Let the spirit of the Holy Ghost hit you right now in the name of Jesus. Aha. Uh -huh. That is it. Open your heart, open your heart, open your heart, open your heart. That is it. Aha. Uh -huh. That's why Jesus brought you here. 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 Let the anointing of excellence let you come upon that brother in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You, that person that have been failing that exam. And you have said, I'm not writing again. Because the sorrow outweighs the result. I prophesy over your life. Thus say the almighty God. The next one you are writing, you are writing to succeed. Yeah. I'm praying for somebody here. That witchcraft woman in your family. If it does not let you go. Thus say the Lord. Within seven days, the Lord will announce the obituary. Yeah. Father, let your word touch us. Amen. And let your name be glorified. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may please be seated. Can you please celebrate yourselves? Can you help me celebrate with your wonderful pastor and his lovely wife? There are people in your life you must miss. And there are people in your life you must meet. Can you help me celebrate this great grace that is here? Hey, you know, listen, 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 listen. It's in the Bible. A prophet is not honored in his hometown. The Bible says, I will give you pastor after my own heart. Meaning the Lord knows the pastor you need. That's why he gave you this wonderful man of God and his lovely wife. Is that how you celebrate your pastor? You are sitting down. You are sitting down. Can you help me celebrate that grace? Hallelujah. Thank you so much. This, for that God is like a home. Thank you for that militant spirit. For that God is like a home to somebody like me. And I'm so blessed every time I came here. And it's only your pastor that can drag me out on a day like this. Um, can you help me celebrate all the wonderful pastorates? God bless you, sirs. 
We celebrate the grace of God. Can you also help me celebrate your wonderful mommy arrow in this house? <laughs> Hallelujah. I've known her for so long and I celebrate the humility. Have you ever heard that shout before? I've never seen her shout. The voice does not change. God bless you, ma. More grace. And can you help me celebrate my wonderful brother who is here? a pastor and I celebrate consistency and that is a young man that is taking the lead in his industry where he's occupying is the youngest in Nigeria so I know that he's not here by chance and if there is anybody I want to celebrate they can help me celebrate you rather that's a person of pastor Lawrence Ola Sende, he's been a father. If not for him, we will not be here. He has always given people wings to fly. And I celebrate the grace of God on his life. Everything, everything you see a young boy like me do is because right from when I came into this ministry, I could see the oil of excellence and extraordinary value of him. I can't remember when we were opening the church in Abuja. That was what prompted someone like me to say, you can do something out of the normal. And we'll keep him for us in Jesus' name. If there is anybody I want to celebrate, I've been saying it in the years of Pastor Kingsley, can you please stand up and celebrate yourself for that wonderful project you are doing? Can you celebrate yourself? Can you celebrate yourself? Please celebrate yourself. I know what I'm talking about. Except a church be helped by God, they can't do this. Can you sit down? I came in here and I was telling them yesterday, looking at the average age of the people in this church, looking at the, I'm talking of the average age, I, I know what I'm talking about. What you are doing there, I can tell you that churches, youth churches that can do it does not exist. I'm not saying it, but I'm, I'm in the council. So I know what I am seeing, and I pray, if you are part of that vision, stand up. I want you to stand up. If you are part of those who have been contributing towards that project, stand up. I want to pray for you. And mark my word, if you are not contributing, don't stand though. Don't do this thing. I pray for all of you that are denying yourself your own money and you are putting it in that project. I prophesy over your life. As the Lord lives and as his spirit is alive, this is a prayer that will work for you. I pray heaven will build for you. Do you know when, when heaven begins to build for a man? I'm not talking about house. One of the gifts that God can give a man is the gift of men. And when the Lord begins to build men around you, you don't lack. I'm a product of that. I prophesy over your life. Everywhere you go, because of your seed in this house, in this project, I declare, everyone will build for you. Can I hear louder? Amen. And I pray, because of that which you have sown, in a billion fold, the Lord shall replenish you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. You may please be seated. I look forward to coming back here. I know that before September to remember, we shall dedicate. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. My assignment is almost done. I just have one thing to share with you, and then we'll pray some few prayers. I'm speaking on what I call, God is looking for men that will take the lead. Can you tell your neighbor? God is looking for what? That will take the lead. How many of you know that as a result of this, take the lead September to remember, nobody will find you at the back again. Are you ready for that word? I say it again. Nobody. What did I say? 
nobody will look at you and they will say, ah, you are, you are supposed to be at the back. That will never be your portion in the name of Jesus. I want us to look at the word of God today. And I want your mind, your body, and your soul to be where? To be here. Praise the name of the Lord. Can I hear a louder amen? amen? Are you tired? Can somebody help me with the book of Ezekiel chapter 22 verse 20? I'm going to be very fast. Ezekiel chapter 22 verse 20. Can we read it together? Can we read it together? What does it say? No, sorry, verse 30. Sorry, sorry, verse 30. Pardon me. Is it going to verse what? Verse 30. What does it say? And I sought for a man among them that should make up the edge. I stand in the gap before me for the land that I should not destroy, it, but I found none. The same way the Lord could not find an intercessor is the same way the Lord is not getting those who can carry some things in this generation. I stand to tell you that it's what you can carry that you will carry. You cannot carry what is heavier than you. If you can carry it, then you can carry it. I stand to tell you that the Lord is looking for people that he will use to take the lead. I know that about my God. I have seen him do it before and he's still in the business of doing it. God is looking for young men like you and I that can take the lead. The leadership position is always vacant. You just need to apply in the school of God. God is looking for people that he can send ahead of others to go and control, to go and rule. God is looking for young men and young women that can make the difference. God is looking for young men and young women that can change the narrative. God is looking for young men and young women that he can hide juicy positions with. God is looking for young men and young women that he can hide money with. God is looking for young men and young women that they can become what I call mentors at a very, very young age. God is not interested in your age. God is not interested in your qualification. If God was interested in age, then David would not have been an end of what we call suicide mission. If God is looking for what? For experience, then he would not have gone to go and look for a fisherman whereby a doctor was there, Luke was there, but he never saw that he could build his church on Luke, but he kept on looking at Peter, an ordinary fisherman, and said, Peter, you have to take the lead. But there are so many Peter here that are comfortable in their own skin. They are comfortable in their own nature. I find it so interesting that way back while I was away some months back, the Lord kept telling me about I should go and raise leaders. And by the time I was checking your pastor's profile, I saw the word, take the lead. My God is telling me to raise. And he's saying again in Port Harcourt that there are leaders here. I prophesy over your life. Wherever you find yourself from today, you are taking the lead. Yeah. I'm looking for a man that I can see. He was looking for a boy like David. You can be an ordinary boy. He's looking for you. You can be an ordinary may God. He's looking for you. You can be an ordinary child. You know, there are some of us in our family, even if they want to, if they want to call people, they don't call you. There are some work they can give you. Any complicated work, they will not give you. Because they know you can mess it up. It's the ordinary one. Go and bring plates. Go and, some kind of things. Some people in there say, ah, that one, he cannot achieve it. But when the Lord wants to make use of a man, he does not look at his background. He does not look at where he's coming from. And you too, you dare not look at your background because your background will always put your back on the ground. But when you stand among others... The angel of the Lord went to go and look for the man called Gideon. Because of our time, I will not go into that scripture. But I want to believe that you understand that man in the Bible. The, the Bible says Gideon was in hiding. And the angel sat down and said, Hello, thou mighty man of what? Of valor. 
And Gideon began to laugh. He said, me, Valor. Where does Valor come from? And he began to present his story. He said, in the whole of Israel, Manasseh, we are the least. He now said again, among Manasseh himself, my family is the poorest. We are the least. Beloved, but I serve a God who does not work by popular opinion. I prophesy over somebody here. What is your family name? You don't even have a street. You don't even have a family house. I stand there as the Lord leaves because you are in this September to remember. I pray that people will know your family through you. Can I hear louder? Amen. That was what he claimed. He said, who, who am I? That, who, what is it? And you know, the terrible thing is this. He was separating beans and corn in the valley. Here was a man who was supposed, you know, there are some things you do in the, in the valley. There are some things you do on the mountain. But he has limited himself. The Bible made us realize that when you are threshing wheat, is it not the wind that will help you remove all the shafts? How many of us are aware they, are, they want to make more money for 1,000 people before? Can you start picking beans? Is it not the traditional method of you? You throw it. That was what he was doing in the valley where there was no air. I prophesy, your days in the valley are over. God is looking for men that will take the lead like you and I. And there are men like that in the Bible. And this is where I want us to go to. Can we look at the book of what? The book of Daniel. Can somebody open their Bible right there? To the book of Daniel. And I want you to show you, before we start praying right now, what happens? Where are those men that are ready to take the lead? In the book of Daniel chapter 1. And I read from verse what? From verse 3. These men, Daniel and others, you can see what I'm saying. I told my people, I said Daniel had three friends. After a while, there were four. After a while, those names died off because Daniel decided to take the lead among the best. Even if you are saying, I'm, I'm among the best, the best now, but among the best, there is still the best. Do you know what I'm talking about? I'm fairly doing well among my mates now, but don't say the almighty God, you will be the best. And the Bible says, and the king spake unto Aspinas, the master of his little Enoch, that he should bring certain of the children of Israel and of the king's seed and of the prince. Children in whom was no blemish. Look at it. When you want to take the lead, there is what we call requirements. Do you look at that word? It says, children without what? Without blemish. Do you know what they call blemish? Do you know what we are talking about blemish? What does that mean? It says, let me look. Say, Judah, let me tell you what it says. Select young men, healthy young men. That's what they say. Healthy is part of the requirement to take the what? The lead. Are you living a healthy life? That's it. This is it. Not that today you don't even know how to take care of your health. You don't even know how to, when you come out, your body odor can chase anybody away. When you come out, when you speak, you don't even know that there are three types of toothpaste. There's one for fresh breath. There's one for when you're, there's one that says your gum has broken. And when you speak, people begin to move away. How do you take the lead? I didn't write it there. They said, healthy young men, you are the one that can be taking what we call sugar. Every day of your life is one bottle of sugar. I did not write it there. It was a general requirement now. We are looking at the general requirements to take the lead. The Bible says, and what? Young men. Do you know what that means? Good looking is a requirement to take the lead. So they must not see you and see nonsense. They must not see you and see this organization. Am I making that to somebody here? They must not see you and see somebody who is looking unkept. They must not see you and see anybody that is looking anyhow. This is what the government, you know, that government is looking for good men. When you come, the glory packaging is another thing, but the physical presence is another thing. I prophesy over your life. May the Lord make you the lead in the name of Jesus. Can I hear louder? Amen.
and look at what he said. He said, make sure, can you hear that word? They are what? Well vast. I'm using NLT translation. They are well vast. That one says what? Intelligent and well educated is needed. When the world is looking for those that can take the lead, listen to me, even in the land of captivity, all these things were preferred above others. So if you are here, you are not an intelligent person. Every time they ask you who is, I was watching something, that's what some of you are spending your time to watch. People that they ask them, who is the first president of Nigeria? A person was mentioning Olusegun Obasanjo. You can imagine the confusion. And some of you are sitting down all your life, you are watching them. They are asking them, what is triangle they don't know? How many I prophesy over your life? May you not waste with this generation. Yeah. The early platform has put them there, but their brain capacity might not keep them there. That is what we are trying to tell you. And you can see the upright has generated. Those are the people that you are spending your time to waste time on. The Bible says intelligent, educated. Not that they ask you, you will mention the full squad of Asna, Man City, ordinary Brighton, you know. But they ask you questions about your field. You don't even understand. There are young people here who don't read the newspaper. The only thing they follow is Insta blog. You are, how can you be educated? How can you be knowledgeable? They speak about this industry. You don't know anything about it. I see people go for interviews. Here is, here is my pastor who is in that field. I sent a young lady for an interview. This was a church member that was supposed to be on the board of the interview. The sister came and said, sir, sir, this person needs to be repackaged. He said, sir, dressing, zero. He said, emotional intelligence, zero. He said, boldness, zero. But yet, when they say, any power standing on my way for that, the head is moving like this. But there is no capacity development. I prophesy over your life. May the Lord upgrade your wisdom. Do you know what I'm talking about? That was the worldly requirement that they needed. They didn't say they are looking for somebody who has, listen to me. If I take you to the Bible, when they were looking for what? For David. They said, get me a man who is skillful. It was skill that took him to the palace. Anointed just supported, anointing supported the skill. Am I making that to somebody here? It was the anointing. See, what does the anointing want to feed on? What does the anointing want to bless? The anointing is that it activates something inside of you. It's whatever you carry that the anointing will breathe on. Which anointing is on your life? And what is the skill set that you are bringing? The Bible, can you take me back to that scripture? He said, give us young men who are intelligent. Yeah, when they tell you to come and make presentation in the office, you cannot even survive. Your hand is shaking. Your mouth is shaking. It's as if they just want to put you into the den of suffering. They say you are making presentation. And they say, stand up. <laughs> How do you want to become the head? I pray over you. If you know you are here and you are suffering from fear, rise up. There's this fear that grips you at the edge of greatness. I prophesy over your life. I want to see you stand up. I pray for you. Every hold of fear on your life, on your destiny, is broken in the name of Jesus. I command that fear to leave you in the name of Jesus. You can sit down. They are talking about intelligent people. Look at that word. It says there. It says they must be what? Go back to this. Healthy and good. Make sure they are well versed in every branch of learning. And are gifted with knowledge and good judgment. You say you have a company. You are printing proposal. But, and the ink you use, by the time small breeze blow on it, everything has disappeared. Am I making sense to somebody here? You are, sending, you are selling a package like somebody who did not go to school. The difference between plantain chips and that one, the senior brother that they call Pringles, is packaging. The one you sell, ordinary nylon, 
The day they call it 2,000 for, for waiting, this ordinary one, how much will you pay for it? You will begin to price. But let me see the day you enter shop right. And they see the packaging. They put it there for you. They have colored it. They will call it smoky barbecue flavor. They have packaged it. Even, you don't need to, can you ever carry anything there and say, can this thing, can I buy it for 500? They will call the security on you. I prophesy over your life. The ability for you to go ahead of others shall come upon you. There are some CVs you look at. Somebody messaged me and said, I am tired of my job. I have been applying. I'm tired of applying. You know, sometimes everything is not demon. I say, come to my office. She came depressed around 6.30. People said, Pastor, uh, will you still see? I said, I will see. I said, bring her, bring her. And by the time I looked at the CV, I said, is this wedding invitation? I said, is this wedding invitation? I said, can you take this thing? I said, go and give it to your friends. This person is in HR. Go and give it to them. Let them adjust it for you. Some of you, your CV himself, if I receive it as a church pastor, I will not employ you. And you are saying that others are taking the lead. There are basic physical requirements. What is the next thing because of our time? Quickly, please. Uh -huh. What's the next thing that the Bible says there? It says, and are suited to serve. Give them with knowledge and good judgment. Another one says, men who are skilled in science. That's what it says there. It says, people who have that kind of knowledge. And you know what? The Bible says, train these young men in the language. How many languages can you speak? They are looking at me. You have free time. All what you do with your life is internet. I said it here last year. If you have been captured by internet, may the Lord deliver you. Yeah. A young lady in my church finished. She just said, I'm not doing anymore. She just said, I'm tired. And she said, I'm going to go and learn French. She has always been dreaming. She travels, she comes back. And in her spare time, she left the work. She was sewing. But in the morning, she would go and do Alliance Francais class. And that was how God began to open her ears. She did the first level she passed. She did the second level she passed. She wrote and they said, do you know that with this thing you have passed, you are qualified for 6,000 euros scholarship to go to France. You are here. You sit at home all day. You are watching series. Are you a movie producer? Am I making sense to somebody here? What have you learned? Where is this that place where they are learning French? Everybody, you know that in this country alone, if you learn how to speak Chinese, oh, oui, yeah, oui, there are people that will look for you. But you are there, you are just sitting. It is that same skill set. The BSc you price yourself in, that you finish with high, is, is what you have been carrying for five years. What have you added to it? You have all those extra time in the evening. What you are doing is to chat your way, messaging a boy that will not marry you. Show me your breast. Show me your breast. What are you wearing to sleep? You will chat till 6, 4 a.m. When you now wake up in the morning, you are having a day. Who will have a day? Is it me or you? You are chatting yourself away. For what will not last? How many secondary school love lasted? How many university love? Did you marry any one of them? They are just passerby. And yet you are there. They are wasting your time. That is what the world requires. That is what the world is looking for. Nobody wants an ordinary man. Everybody is looking for a celebrated man. I prophesy over your life. May that grace come upon you in the name of Jesus. And be, you know, that because of this, they said they should be feeding them. And that is when the spiritual takes over. What does it that makes a man to take the lead? After all this physical one. They said, we are not going to eat what you are feeding us. Because we perceive that you are feeding us with food from the idols. And you know, every time a man that wants to take the lead steps away from the rest, he becomes celebrated. When he said, I'm not going to eat, you know why? If he had eaten, his vision would have been taken. If he had eaten, he would have become like them. And this man said, no, we are not eating. Every time we are ready to sacrifice the world for God, God makes you the leader. Every time you are ready to sacrifice your desires for God, 
this man said we will be eating vegetable when others were eating meat. There were men in that place who were eating meat. But the four of them stood out. And you know what? He became a prime minister. I prophesy upon somebody here. As you deny yourself the word, the Lord will position you in the name of Jesus. There is the lifestyle of those who will take the lead. He said, no, I cannot eat anything sacrificed to idol. This, there are idols everywhere. That sex is an idol. That sex outside marriage is an idol. That you jumping from one club to one club is an idol. That your prayerlessness is part of the problem why you will remain with the rest. He said he cannot, I cannot join myself. And at the long run, the Bible says they were looking better than others. Don't join them, run away from them. Others may, you cannot. And look at his lifestyle. They will not bow down their heads to another God. How many of you are here that will not bow down your heads to another God? How many of you are here that are ready to go into the fire? That is the lifestyle of men. They said, even if God does not save us, we will enter this world, this fire. How many of you can say that? Even if I don't have money to recharge, to buy a new phone, I'm not going to sell my body. Even if I don't have what to eat, what new clothes to wear, I would rather be washing, wash and dry and wear, rather than deny myself. And these men, they were thrown into lions then. They said, no, we cannot. They said, nobody should pray. How many of you pray three times a day? The Bible says he prayed in the morning, the noon, and the night. And God celebrated them. I pray for somebody here. You will take the lead from today. Yes. Rise up on your feet. How many of you want to take the lead? How many of you? How many of you? Go and listen to this word again. Make sure that you read the book of what? Of Daniel. And let it be your watchword. I'm praying for you. You are taking the lead. Amen. Bow down your heads in prayer. If you know you are here and you are not born again. Or you are here and you say, man of God, I'm living a sinful life. Whatever you are, just raise up your right hand. So that Jesus can save you. God bless you. God bless you. Can I see you at the front? Just come forward. You are going to become the head. Don't be shy. Just come forward. That's why Jesus brought you here. Just come forward. You want to give your life to Christ. That's why Jesus brought you here. You are taking the lead from today. Can you please celebrate the grace of God over their lives? As they give their life to Christ today. I'm still expecting one more person there. I can see you. You have a golden crown on your head. Just come forward. I'm expecting you. Just come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm waiting for you. Just come forward. Waiting for you. Come forward. That's why Jesus brought you here. Thank you, Jesus. Can you please celebrate these ones as they give their life to Christ? God bless you. God bless you. That's why Jesus brought you here. You are taking the lead. Say, Lord Jesus, I come before you. Say it after me. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I forsake Satan and his works. Lord, please, let me walk with you. Come and take the lead in my life so I can take the lead. Let every works of darkness in my life be broken. And let your name alone be exalted. As I've given my life to you today, Lord, please save me. Help me and deliver me. It is well with me on all sides. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can you please celebrate God for their lives? <laughs> Father, I pray for this ones that Lord, you will save them. With this journey, they will know you more. And they will serve you. They are fit to be established in your works. In Jesus' name, we pray. Can you please look at me? You have made the best decision ever in life. I made this decision close to 20-something years ago, and I've never regretted it. It's the best I've ever made, and I pray the Lord will help you in Jesus' name. Just follow these our pastors. They would like to take your details, and they would like to know you more. Can you just follow them and just walk with them so that they can, they can take you? Can you celebrate God in their lives? Amen. Amen. We are about to go now. Rise up on your feet, everybody. If you know you are here, when good thing is about to happen in your life, you just have this bad dream. Find your way to the altar. There's this dream that just comes and scatters everything. Find your way to the altar. Just come forward quickly. When good thing is about to happen, just come forward. You just have this dream and everything just scatters. Find your way to this altar. That's why Jesus brought you here. I am that I am.
I am that I am. I am that I am. Glory be to your name. I am that I am. I am that I am. I'm waiting for you. I am that I am. Glory be to your name. I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. Glory be to your name. I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. Glory be to your name. Everybody will pray. You are going to shout this, and I declare you will never have that dream again. As you go back to write that exam, that dream of defeat will not manifest. Yeah. Everybody shout this one. Say, limitations, limitations. over my life. Over. Say, limitations. limitations over the children of my father. Limitations, limitations. over the children of my mother. Pray in the name of Jesus. Spread that prayer like that glare. Aha! Limitations! Pray that prayer. Limitations! Over your life. Over the children of your father. Over your destiny. Pray in the name of Jesus. Can you pray that prayer? Can you pray that prayer? Can you pray that prayer? Limitations! Over your life. In Jesus' name we pray. All eyes closed. Father, I pray for these your children. Never again would they have these demonic dreams. Never again would these dreams steal from you. Never again will you crawl. Never again will you beg. By the power of the Holy Ghost, that dream of failure is cancelled in the name of Jesus. There's somebody in this meeting. You are dating someone that everybody has warned you that this person is not an ordinary person. The Lord said, I should tell you, run away so that you don't lose your life on this journey. You know what I'm talking about. You have seen the person believing that is love. I pray. You are not meant to be having sex with that person in your dream. That's, you know yourself. The Lord said, I should tell you, you should run away and you will see what will happen. Everybody, those of you at the altar and everybody here, this is one more prayer point. You will say, battles! Hiding inside of me. Yod. Down! In the name of Jesus. Say it clear. Can you pray that prayer? 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 Battles. Aha. 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 That's the power of God. Yes. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. All eyes closed. Father, I'm praying for everyone under the sound of my voice. Especially these your children at the altar. Let there be a separation between you and these marine powers. Let her go. 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 In the name of Jesus. The next time they show up in your dream, the Holy Ghost fire shall destroy them in the name of Jesus. The power of the Lord shall disgrace them in the name of Jesus. Amen. You may go back to your seat rejoicing. If you are believing God for job now, bring everybody bring out your seat. If you are believing God for job, I want you to raise your right hand as I pray for you. Bring out your seat. So, raise up your right hand right now. You are asking God, Lord, change my level. Just raise up your right hand. I pray for you. Before the end of this month, you will sing a new song. 
that place you have been knocking at the door for, that door shall open unto you sevenfold in the name of Jesus. The Lord said, as you dress somebody here, the kind of money you have never recorded before, before the end of the 15th of November this year, the Lord said you will have it in abundance. There's somebody here, you are walking among those that should help you, but they are not helping you. By the virtue of God, your head shall be lifted in the name of Jesus. Who is that person that is believing God that someone should sponsor them abroad? Raise up your right hand again. I declare that person shall hear you and support your vision in the name of Jesus. Raise your seed. I prophesy over this seed. The virtue of God and the grace of God shall come upon it. With this seed, it will be a September for you to remember. You will walk in financial abundance. Your head shall be lifted on all sides. The enemy will not steal your victory. By this seed, I open you for what I call seven times more. One more, two more prayers. Before I thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we we'll pray. Before you go, ask God for one thing. By the special grace that the Lord has placed on us, when you hear, ask God for one thing, the Lord does it speedily. Close your eyes now and begin to say, Lord, let it be said that by the time we are doing Thanksgiving in what? In October for this meeting. This is what you have done for me. Quietly tell the Almighty God now before we pray the final prayer upon. He can hear you. God can do anything, anything, anything God can do, anything but fear. God can do anything, anything, anything God can do, anything but fear. I want you to talk to him. Declare loud and clear. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. The Lord said, I should tell somebody here, in your dream tonight, it will visit you. Everybody, raise up your two hands, and you will shout one. Listen to me. In your office, you shall be lifted. Yeah. In your school, the oil of lifting shall speak for you. Yeah. I see somebody going on a training that is beyond your level. Yeah. Raise your two hands and say this loud and clear. Say, oil of lifting. Oil. My head is available. Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we pray. You Whenever you hide away from the truth, beloved, you hide away from freedom. It's the truth that you accept that will set you free. Somebody's life withstood every challenge of the enemy because it was founded on the rock. And that rock speaks of depth in God. If they mention your name in the coven, what happens? Most people that you see that tragedy befell them is as a result of what the enemy has done on their name. Everybody needs to maintain what I call a still and a what? And a quiet mind. Whereby the only person that can move within your mind, the only person that can speak within your mind is the voice of God.